Tony Stark's eyeglasses are one of the cool perks of being a billionaire that saves the world, but that used to all be fiction. As it turns out, those glasses might no longer be a pipe dream, but already in the foreseeable future. Apple glasses are the real technology that undoubtedly promises to improve our interactions with the world and our user experience with this AR technology. But before we can discuss the cool specs of these glasses, let's talk about AR. What is AR? According to Investopedia, AR, that is augmented reality, is an enhanced version of the real physical world that is achieved through the use of digital visual elements, sound, or other sensory stimuli via technology. The way Google puts it, augmented reality overlays digital content and information onto the physical world, as if they're actually there with you, in your own space, experiencing digital content in the same way you experience the world. Cool, right? John Prosser, a renowned YouTube channel host with a fairly strong accuracy rating on rumors, was the first to tell us that Apple AR glasses would be called Apple Glass. Apple Glass will be capable of displaying information on both lenses with the user in control via gestures both on and in front of the frames. Everything will be handled by a connected iPhone. If you think you're cool, check this one out. Apple Glass supposedly won't have a conditional cameras, but instead will have a LiDAR sensor to power the actual AR experience. LiDAR, light detection and ranging, uses eye-safe laser beams to see the world in 3D, providing machines and computers an accurate representation of the surveyed environment. The sensor uses time it takes for each pulse to return to the sensor to calculate the distance the beam has traveled. Repeating this process millions of times per second would create a precise, real-time 3D map of the environment. I mean, I know, right? This technology was invented by David Hull and is used in the self-driving industry for autonomous vehicles. The advantage of LiDAR has over cameras that is functions independently of ambient lighting. LiDAR can achieve fantastic results day and night without any loss of performance due to disturbances such as shadows, sunlight, or headlight glare. As you would expect, Apple Glass comes equipped with the latest software features. The US Patent and Trademark Office published a patent application from Apple that relates to their future augmented reality glasses that will provide users with information only seen when wearing these AR glasses. For example, a user visiting a museum will be presented with information about a painting or a sculpting only visible using Apple's AR glasses. In another example, a poster in a theater lobby may represent coming attractions. The poster may contain information that the AR glasses could use to present the user with a trailer of the coming movie. And that's one side of the patent. Apple clarifies that the optical see-through HMDs are provided as wearable glasses with separate transparent lens for each eye. Apple's patent pending invention focuses on detailing the use of hand gesturing as being one of the ways users will be able to communicate with Apple glasses. In the big picture, Apple's invention covers devices, systems, and methods for providing computer-generated reality content that includes virtual content that is displayed based on the surface of specifically detected objects such as the user's hand. The virtual content is seen by the user in combination with the physical environment. The visibility of the virtual content is improved in these and other circumstances by selectively displaying the virtual content in positions relative to surfaces having characteristics that may make virtual content easier to see or understand. For example, displaying the virtual content over the relatively consistent and flat surfaces of the user's hand may make a virtual object easier to see than displaying the virtual content in front of a tree of variable color and moving leaves, obviously. Some implementations detect and track the hand position relative to the HMD using a sensor located at or in communication with the HMD. In various implementations, detecting and tracking the hand position involves correlating a hand color or a hand model to a depth map or the like to detect and track the hand shape and pose, for example orientation and position relative to the HMD. Apple's patent goes into great detail about the use of hand gestures to communicate with glasses. In some implementations, the user can control displaying of available virtual content at the HMD user's hand based on the physical environment. For example, displaying advertising when shopping or museum or historical information when sightseeing. In some implementations, the user controls selection among available virtual content for display at the user's hand based on the physical environment. For example, only advertising directed to food or restaurants is allowed to be displayed at the user's hand when walking down the street. The ads are targeted and very specific. In some other implementations, individual CGR content visible to the HMD user can be manipulated as desired. The user may want to view and otherwise experience a CGR-based user interface that allows the user to select, place, 
move, and otherwise present a CGR environment, for example, based on virtual content location, via hand gestures, voice commands, input device inputs, and the likes. Some communication can be displayed on the palm of a user's hand as well. In 2017, Apple had persuaded Jeff Norris, founder of Mission Operation Innovation Office at NASA's Jeff Biarvana's camera-based AR approach differs from competitors like Microsoft, which is utilizing transparent projection-based displays for its HoloLens headset. The totem holds a number of advantages over these systems, most notably in that it is able to overlay fully opaque true color animations on top of the real world rather than look like ghost-like projections of other headsets, which critically cannot display the color black. This allows the headset to do what it calls seamless blend transitions between VR and AR environments. VRVANA is based in Canada and was purchased for $30 million in September 2017. Camry, an Israeli AR company, have built an SDK and specifically a range of software-based AR tools to help edit and use camera-made images in more sophisticated ways. Its tech included the ability to detect different objects in the picture and outline them with precision to alter them cosmetically. The ability to outline and apply filters across the whole image, a skeleton tracking neural network API that could detect and draw body joints in real time overlaid on a picture of a human, and its own version of selective focus for enhanced portrait modes. Remember, this was 2018 and this was not the standard on phones at the time. According to Apple, Camera was purchased for tens of millions in August of 2020. Apple is not the first company to attempt to make smart glasses. Google has tried to do this as well. Google released its glass prototype early with the intention of being more optimistic than convenient. The tech giant advertised glass in terms of experience augmentation. The aspirations were lofty indeed. The technology required lengthy battery life and improved image recognition capabilities and a lot of data. The device was supposed to compete with other devices that boasted superior cameras, larger capacities, and faster processors. Glass didn't stand a chance. Users were concerned about wearing cameras on their face. Some bars and restaurants barred wares from entry. Several banned the device altogether. Superficially, yet crucially, the device was not cool at all. It lacked the sleekness attached to new technology. To make things worse, Glass did not come cheap. It retailed for $1,500. Not that it did any single action particularly well. This is why those who could afford Glass were content with cutting edge smartphones. So let's talk about the price. Apple Glass is estimated to be around 499 US dollars or 403 pounds. This price does not include prescription charges to alter the glass if needed. And when is it coming out? As of right now, it's highly probable that the Apple Glass will release in the second quarter of 2022. This may get delayed by the debut of Apple VR this same year. It's likely that Apple will preview the device Apple Glass before then. AR head-mounted displays will not be landing until later this year or 2023.